Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to load plain text files into Python. To load plain text files into Python we need to use the open function which takes three arguments. The first argument is file which takes a string object as input which must contain a path to the file that's being opened. The second argument is mode which simply defines the mode of access to the file and in this case we use R, which stands for read. Finally, the argument encoding simply defines the encoding to be used with the file. We use the open function in connection with the with statement, which is followed by the expression as, and a variable, which we in this case name file. The with statement must be followed by an indented block of code, and here we simply call the read method of the variable file and store the result under the variable text. If I now run this cell, Python will read the file contents and store the result under the variable text. Before we move any further, let's take a quick look at the file variable. The file variable contains a text IO wrapper object which simply points towards the file that we now open for reading. If we try to read the file, Python will raise a value error saying IO operation on closed file. This is actually a good thing because the with statement takes care of closing the file after the indented code block finishes. If the file would remain open, it would continue consuming memory and resources, and this could become a problem if we would work, let's say, with thousands of files. Let's move ahead and check what we stored under the variable text when reading the file contents. And in this case, we're only going to print out the first 500 characters because the text is fairly long. So we use the brackets and the colon and the number 500 to limit the output to the first 500 characters. As you can see, the text is mainly legible but contains some sequences such as the combination of a backslash and n which indicates a line change. If we want to render these line changes, we need to use the print function and in this case we're going to print out the first 1000 characters. As you can see, the print function knows how to interpret this sequence and renders a line change where appropriate. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks!